It's that time of year again. Time to make your class selections for next year. This year, EMS ISD has implemented a new process for course selection. This process is called Personalized Course Selection. This video will walk you through the process of selecting your classes online for the 2017-2018 school year. EMS ISD is focused on college readiness and we believe the personalized course selection process will help students become familiar with similar scheduling systems they will likely encounter in college. Before we begin, make sure you have your Skyward login ID and password ready. If you do not have it, you can check in with your campus counseling center or house office to find out how to get it. You will not be able to begin this process without your student login information. Okay, let's get started. You will begin by going to the EMS ISD website. From here, you will scroll down to the site shortcuts and click on the family and student access link. Remember that you must log in with your student login and password. Parents will not be able to access these features through their accounts. Once logged in, your screen should look similar to this. From your home screen, you will click on the Arena Scheduling link from the menu on the left, and then click on the appropriate school year. On this screen, we have access to search classes by period or subject area in this filter box. You have three tabs here that provide different options, and we will explore each of these later. And you have a list of classes that are available to you to choose from. These courses are based on the course request the student made earlier in the school year. If you do not remember the courses you requested, you can click on the Messages tab for a complete list. The letter A following a course number signifies that the course is an alternate. Remember that EMS ISD high schools function under an eight-period school day, broken up by two semesters. As you select your courses, you will need to pick a class to fill each of these eight periods. Don't forget to include your lunch, which is offered third, fourth, and fifth periods. As you begin selecting your classes, we recommend you start with any special programs that are most important to you. This could include fine arts programs, athletics, or a course at the Hollenstein Career and Technology Center, and any other program with limited offerings. With that in consideration, I'm going to begin by selecting baseball since I know it is only offered one period a day and I want to be sure to get into this class. I could search for this class one of two ways. If I know what period it is offered, I can select the period or under subject, I can select the subject area this course falls under. I'm going to choose to filter by subject and select PE equivalent. Now I can add the course to my schedule by selecting add. Notice that my option for this class is now to remove it from my schedule and that under fit it no longer says yes but instead says ENR for enrolled. Now I will move on to the remainder of my schedule. At this point there are no other special programs I am looking for so I will begin filtering by period. I select first period and apply the filter. Below are all my options for first period. I'm going to select to take English 3 this period. Next, I move on to second period. As we look at this screen, notice that one of my options, Art 2, says it is closed. This means that there are currently no more seats available in this section of this course and I cannot sign up for it. That's okay because I would like to take Algebra 2 second period, so I will add it. Moving on to third period, I'm going to take my science class by selecting Physics 1. By now you probably have this down, so we will move on to fourth period and I'm going to select my U.S. History class. At this point I have not selected a lunch yet, so I need to add that to my schedule for fifth period. For sixth period I'm going to choose Psychology. Notice that Psychology is a semester course meaning I need to choose another course to pair with it for the second semester of the school year. I'm going to choose Sociology. If you are choosing a semester course and the course you would like to pair with it is offered in a different period, you will need to follow your campus procedures for visiting with your counselor for assistance. As I get ready to select my course for seventh period, I realize I have already enrolled in all the options that are available to me for seventh and I still haven't signed up for my art class. 
If we search under the Fine Arts filter, we can see that Art 2 Pre-AP is only available during my baseball class. This means I will need to choose one of my alternates. At this point, I think I will choose 4th Period Art 2 Drawing. Currently, this course doesn't fit into my schedule, so I will need to drop a course and then see if it can fit into my 7th period block. The easiest way to do this is to click on the View Print Schedule tab. From here, click on the link for the course you would like to drop. I want to drop U.S. History, so I will click on that. I will then click Yes in the pop-up to remove the class. Now, I need to add my 4th and 7th period classes. I'm going to click on the 4th period filter and add the Art 2 class. And then, select the 7th period filter and add U.S. History. If I go back to the View Print Schedule tab, I can see that my schedule is now complete for all eight periods of our school day. However, I am not finished yet. There is still one more step. Once I am certain that I have selected all my classes the way I would like, I need to click the Submit Classes tab. I then click Submit Schedule at the top of the screen and click Yes in the pop-up asking if I am sure I want to submit my schedule. Once you have submitted your schedule, no further changes can be made. A few closing points. Remember that our EMS ISD administrative and counseling teams have worked hard on the master schedule. In some situations, requested schedules may change due to staffing and space availability or unmet graduation and prerequisite requirements. However, your counselor will do whatever they can to limit the impact those changes will have on your requested schedule. Remember that personalized course selection will only be available to students for a three-day window. During this window, counselors will be available to students and parents to help answer questions or problem-solve scheduling conflicts. For high school students, counselors will be available before school and during lunches in a designated computer lab. For current middle school students, counselors will be available at the middle school from 4 o'clock to 7.30 p.m. on Monday, April 24th. Students will also have one opportunity to make adjustments to their schedule from May 22nd through the 26th. Details will be given at that time on how to submit a request. As always, if you have any questions, please contact your student's counselor.